it's time to pull my pumpkins. It's been months since I saw rain, but we just had two days worth. Um, every morning they're starting to be dew on the grass, so everything's getting pretty wet. Pumpkin contest is coming up. I've got to submit my final entry, so it's time to pull my pumpkins. So this was my first year growing pumpkins. I definitely learned a lot about them. This one right over here, this was the plant that I had eliminated all other pumpkins and flowers from the from the vine just so that this one pumpkin would absorb all the nutrients and all the energy would go just to that one pumpkin thinking that that would be my biggest pumpkin but it didn't turn out to be that way. But I did learn a lot and I got a few tips and tricks that I learned that I'll implement next year. I've got a few of them that are pretty good size. That guy right there definitely I think is my biggest. I've just kept waiting and expecting this one to just fall right off of the vine and land on the ground, but it's held up pretty well. Here's the other little patch. Here's our little melon patch. That pumpkin right there, that one's pretty big. And there's a few other ones in here that you can't really see from this angle, but it's quite a few pumpkins in here. So this one here basically rotted right off the vine, so I think it's done. So I got one bad pumpkin down there. That one we're gonna feed to the chickens in a minute. But otherwise, we've got 16 that turned out really good. And it's gonna come down to these two. This was the one that I thought was my biggest, and this is the one that was hanging. Let's find out who really is the biggest. Okay, so this is, these are my measurements for Whistle Thicket's pumpkin challenge. This one, I've got 46, uh, 45 and three quarters. And then let me get my right. Ah. Hold on, bear with me. Almost 49. Let's call it 48 and... It's 48 and 5 eighths. I don't know if it's enough to win, but it's bigger than whistle tickets. That's all that matters. Okay, you count. Ready? 